this is Lost It All, The Guts Wrap by Fable. I haven't checked this out yet. I know it's a little bit, like, how old is this? How long ago was this? It wasn't, like, that long, but it was it, March. Okay, so a few months now. A few, right? Two months? One month? We're in May now, right? Happy May, everybody. Also, happy birthday to Choji from Naruto. In case you guys didn't know, it's Choji's birthday today. But anyway, let's check this out. This is Lost It All by Fable. Let's go. Fire! God, Jesus. Nick, good lord. Okay, in my face, right off the bat. I love this. Okay. Fire deep inside me. Mm. Lakers to remind me. I just left to fall. Hold on a second. I'm not going to lie. Your voice be sounding like someone I've heard a long time ago. That's eerie. That's really eerie. Do I have a recognizable voice or do you know me? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's strange. That's strange. Um, but I dig it. Hey, let's go back a little bit. Sorry. What? We're, we're only seven seconds. Let's just start from the beginning again. You know what's weird? I just noticed he usually has his like Patreon thing come up first. And it's not on this. I just noticed that. Fire deep inside me. Ugh. Lakers to remind me. I just left to fall. Yeah. Oh my god. I need to hear that fall again. I just left to fall. Yeah. I lost it. I've been through a lot, but I don't say shit. Mm. Branded by the demons that I'm faced with. You're always on my mind, won't go away. I, I want to also point out that we're like 30 seconds into this song. There hasn't been like a beat yet. There's been a lot of like uh, instrumental, like a, a, I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure it was piano. Just kind of like a sort of almost like a, I'm using the word again, ethereal sort of just like ambiance of of like like a, a minor tone and there hasn't been there's a little bit of this like very lo-fi kick coming in but it hasn't formed into a beat yet and but he is just going full tilt hard on his sleeve right now so fuck a beat i'll go acapella <laughs> by the demons that i'm faced with you're always on my mind will go away i know i'm out of There's that, that fable vibrato, that total, like, harsh, hard vibrato. I love that. It's like a staple. It's obviously, you know, that's one of the reasons why I feel like, that's one of the, the biggest uh, emulations he has from, I know he's a big Post Malone fan. That's kind of, I think that's one of the biggest, like, Post Malone emulations, I think, in his music. And then, Jonald, I'm calling you out, too, because you do it, too, you simp. But it's awesome. I love that sound. It's so cool. I can't, I can't vibrato that hard. I... I mean, um, I, I, I have a natural vibrato when I sing, but I can't vibrato that, like, that. that's like a hard vibrato. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain that. It's a very hard vibrato. I can't do that. Don't, you, 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 act like it's not true. Act like it's not true, bro. <laughs> Fucking up my head, can't seem to get shown. What a tragedy, tragedy. It's what it had to be, had to be. Take everything away. I'll never fight that. Oh, okay. I I know his vocals are processed because he's 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 you know mastered this and everything. Yada yada yada. It's mixed and mastered, but whatever. The fact that there's still discernible intonation in that a thousand percent scream. That is a fry scream. That is a thousand percent of fry scream. Drago, what's up? Thank you for hanging out. 
Um, but the fact that they're still very discernible, like easy to discern intonation in that scream. Fucking beautiful, man. Fucking beautiful, man. Also, I want to point out that he is doing all this without the accompaniment of a very strong progression, giving him a sense of the key and the tone. And it's also without a beat. I, I, I guarantee you he's a professional. I guarantee you he's recording to a click. But the fact that he's doing all this beautifully without the accompaniment to keep him on the right track. You know what I mean? This is very stripped down. There's barely even piano in this part. And it is fucking beautiful. So that is, <laughs> this is fucking beautiful. Okay. So he's, okay. He's got the note. The <laughs> He's hitting the notes and then the false chord fry is on top of the note. That's why the intonation is so clean because the note is first. The note is first and then he is overdriving it. Does that make sense? So it's just beautiful, clean intonation in this, in this just balls to the wall fucking scream and it's uh, i'm geeking out too hard on this it's what it had to be had to be take everything away i'll never fight that uh. Fire hold on a second is this a minute and a half in the first time we get a full cohesive beat with the, with the, with percussion and everything all together, or am I forgetting a part where it came in earlier? Because fuck yeah, hang on. No, let's do that. Let's do the drop. Oh, you're gonna rap to us now, man? Yeah, I'm not ready for that. Ah, uh, he's doing that rhythm that gives me the, that ba ba da ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba I love that rhythm so much. I'm a geek for rhythm sometimes. But, uh. I still raise my heart weighs a ton. If life is a war, then I'd rather die because I never won. Fuck the lies that you told me. First of all, if life is a war, then I'd rather die because I never won. Jesus Christ, man. If it's a war, then I'd rather die because I never won. Fuck the lies that you told me. Uh. Uh, yeah, I got the biggest, stupidest, shit-eating grin on my face right now that my avatar isn't even doing any justice to. I'm, this is this is so good. This is so freaking good. Uh. What a tragedy, tragedy. It's what it had to be, had to be. Take everything away. I'll never fight this. Fire deep. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, Donald, I will. I'm going to. Um, I'm probably going to go really hard into all the nerdcore I've missed uh, this week, this coming up week, because I've kind of adjusted sort of my uh, what I thought were my commitments to YouTube. I've sort of adjusted, you know, what was realistic for me. So I think I'm going to be able to get right back into all the nerdcore I've been missing. So I'm going to definitely do that. Uh, let me hear that drop again, though, because. I love how he opens the vowel there. This is getting a little singing nerdy here. But the way he, on that fall, obviously he's screaming. So it's may, maybe you won't really notice it as much because he's screaming. But like, I just left to fall. Fall. He opens the, he rounds out and opens the vowel there to give that sort of like, to really just round out. That's the best way to put it. He rounds out that, that ah vowel. Fall. It's almost like an O, oh, ah. Oh. It's, 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 it's like a really round open vowel to give it that sort of like that beef you know what i mean it gives it that kind of like beef on that note that he wants to ring out and uh because the rest of the vowels in that phrase were very more very lighter more open higher I love that. I love that whine. It's like it's like a cry cut off at the end. How how do you put that? What's the official term? I don't give a shit. I just love that. Oh yeah, Aaron Yeager rap is the only one I will not be listening to right away because I am not caught up with my with my hero with um, Attack on Titan. Um, but since I'm I'm sorry guys, since I'm not probably react to it anymore, I'll probably just binge through it and I'll catch up to it so I can get all these songs I've been missing because of the reactions. But, oh, that song was dope. That song was dope. Let me um, let this fucking ad play. Oh, that song was awesome. You're in it? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe I will listen to it then. Tell me this, though. John, be honest with me. Is it spoilery? Because the image on the front looks like what I've heard Aaron sort of evolves into that I haven't seen yet that I'm, I wish I didn't know about. So let me know. If it's super spoilery, just let me know. Be honest about it. Because if, if so, the worst case scenario, I might just have to just binge really fast. Just like, what does that mean? That doesn't give me any information. <laughs> anyway, that song was awesome. That song was super passionate. I mean, I'm used to, not really without context, I, I, I'm I smart, though. I'm smart. I wish I could put the clip of Fredo from uh, Godfather 2. I'm smart! But no, um... It is spoilery. See, Sadie's got my back. Donald's trying to lie to me so I listen to the song. I'll, I'll binge it. I will get to that song very quickly. Don't worry about it. I will binge it. I will binge it. I will binge it and I'll catch up. Ugh. But anyway, um, this song was amazing. Um, Fable, here's the thing about Fable is that uh, when, whenever you're performing music, the best thing, for the best sound to come across, you have to sell it. And in order to sell it, the best way to do that is to actually feel the emotions that you're trying to portray. And Fable does not need to fake agony. Fable doesn't need to fake. You can tell that Fable is feeling every ounce of the emotion he's trying to put across. And that's why it's so powerful. Like, I I've always said this, I've said this, Fable and Divide are like two sides of one coin. Divide is the sort of hopeful, positive, um, uplifting side of the coin and fable is the dark tragic side of that coin you know what I mean they're very similar in their styles and, and uh, fable leans a little more into like he's a little more hip hoppy he's got a little more hip hop influence but he's also got that super grunge metal kind of rock and roll aggression side um, and divide is a little more just mostly into like the rock thing with a little more of the uh, sort of like that um like I said, very positive, very uplifting tone in his rock. You know what I mean? And one thing I will say about Divide is that I always feel like I really wish there's a little more oomph and smack you in the face with his mixing when it comes to like metal. 
the metal music I feel like doesn't have as much oomph to it that I like in my mixing because I'm, you know, I'm a metal simp. But anyway, Fable does not have to fake the the tragedy, the pain. You know what I mean? It comes across, and that's why his songs are so powerful because he it's he is in pain, and it sucks. It sucks to say that because obviously you don't want people to be in pain, but some of the best art comes out of pain, unfortunately. You know what I mean? And and in this on the same token, the people who are feeling that pain by producing that art, they're helping. It's cathartic. They're helping them sort of work through that pain. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing. You know, like uh, I say it about a lot of these tragic artists. I say I, I, I say the same thing. I'm so glad they have music. I'm so glad they have this outlet because who knows what they'd be into. NF is a big example of that. I am so glad NF has music because who knows what he'd be into if he didn't have it. You know what I mean? As an outlet. And same thing, same thing with Fable. Same thing with Fable. I'm so glad Fable has music. I'm so glad Fable is making this, the strides that he's making right now. He's got a lot of like awesome things happening in his career right now. I'm so happy for him. He deserves it and a million percent more. Guys, I'm done simping. I really appreciate you guys checking out this reaction. This is going to be on YouTube. That's why I'm feeling like I'm kind of ending a video right now. But um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Thank you for, uh, for tuning in.